one point they thought they saw him. Look. That looks like him. This is Unit 14. There's a visual ID on the suspect. And they were going to hit the place the next morning. The knot was vaguely familiar. When you live a life on the run, you develop a sixth sense to help you survive. But on that cold January morning... Morning. And found that he wasn't there. Uh, his wife had said that they had a falling out, that he'd left the night before, and he was never going to return. Is there anybody else in the house? No. Who's your boyfriend? Uh, we got an argument, and, and I don't expect him back at all. Sylvie covered for me. Even though I'd never come clean with her, she always knew I was in some kind of trouble with the law. And then I saw Sylvie, looking terrified. James Anthony Martin came walking back in right into the arms of the uh, Canadian police. Soon as I locked eyes with the cops, I understood. They knew who I was. I'd always hoped my character would be more poetic. Unfortunately, I couldn't write a different ending to my story. When one of the officers called me by my real name... James Anthony Martin? I knew it was finished. life on the run was over. In my life, I always knew I was smart. I believed I was smart enough to get away with murder. But I wasn't.